welcome to the bench with Sana this evening. Today we are looking at gender mainstreaming and we are privileged to have our first uh, female contender for the MCA uh, Madare Northward. Uh, today on the bench we will be talking to Honorable El Sepa and uh, welcome and follow us through the program. Uh, Madam El Sepa, <laughs> Karibu Pa Bench, yes. and uh, uh, we've heard about you a lot in the social media. Yes. We've seen your activities here and there, in the Orange House and everywhere. Could you introduce yourself to the people of Madare North and tell them what you are running for? Yes. I'm El Sepa Montgomery, a residency in Madare North. I'm vying this seat for MCA Madare North. Yes, I'm married. I have kids, <laughs> I've done education background, I've done food and beverage, and I'm also a caregiver, okay. yes. So how do they know you around? Are you, are you popular, are you a first timer, are you just trying to build your name or you are already a popular candidate? I'm already a popular candidate and this is my first time okay. running for this seat. Okay, okay yeah. I see. Maybe my first question to you, uh, how much do you know Mother uh, northward are you a born and bred person or did you just come so uh, how well would you say you know the the word yo my husband do amezaliwa madare north but me i've been here for 10 years alinioa kanileta hapa so being i've been here for like 10 years now yeah okay. and politically uh, how do you gauge yourself are, are you a political person or uh, did, did this aspiration just fall on you around this time yeah, politics, I like politics, kabisa, and I've politics, but what I mean if I want to vie for this seat, the challenges in us women and youths to be here. So that's why I want to have uh, this seat yes. so that I can help my fellow youths and my fellow women. Kabisa. We encourage you for your, your courage and bringing yourself in front. We've seen some youths also running in other wards, and we encourage that move. Uh, maybe to ask you, we've, I've seen you around, uh, maybe taking a lot of paparazzi here and there with the who, who is who of the party. How much would you say uh, you know the, which party are you running on in the first place? Oh, I mean ODM. ODM. Oh, ODM. Yeah, yeah. So how, how, how long have you been in ODM? Are you a life member or are you just joining today? Yeah, if I'm a member, I'm a member, original member from Kitambo, but life membership, I just took it last year, on October, yeah. Is this the time I saw you with the Right Honourable Premier? Right Honourable? Prime Minister. Prime Minister, I was with Baba there, yeah, yeah I went there, yeah, we talked, and then it was like that. Okay. How would you cluster Madare North Ward? Who are the voters? Uh, is there a predominant community? And uh, by that extension, what are your chances uh, as a minority? As a minority, most women here are the voters and the youths. Yeah, so I've talked to women, I've talked to the youths, and everybody wants to change. Okay. Yes, I think I have a high chances of winning this seat. Wonderful. Yeah. That's encouraging. Uh, what plans do you have on ground uh, uh, in terms of outreach? What is your strategy for uh, reaching out to Madare, Bandare North people so that they can identify with you? And we, which are your which are your points? I mean, uh, what is it entailed in your manifesto? In brief. Yeah. Oh, my manifesto zangu sana sana in distribution of bursary. Because uh, we have leaders here, we have been having leaders here, but most of them who are outside the, the area. So distribution of mastery may fall very poorly. Because we have young, our, most of our young people, our jasoma. Now when I walk in the ground, I will say, ah, I will So manifest yangu ya kwanza ni make sure the needle people, na wali bad bright kabisa, wanapata nini? Basari wanaiza fanya nini, wanaiza soma. Then another thing ni mekuja kuangalia, most of our young people wakukua drugs, then girls early pregnancy. So manifesto yangu kwanza ni kungangana na wale wenye wakukua shule. 
to make sure wanapata nini wanapata masomo yao kabisa au drop out then hawa wenye wako nje wenye wako kama wako kwa drugs nione vile nzao wapeleka wapi rehabilitation then i come and talk to them uliza what they want kama wanataka kurudi back to school alinifu pale niwasaidie wafanye nini warudi then hao wengine niulize kama wanataka vitu gani kama ni short courses nione vile nzao wapeleka kama plumbering kama ni tailoring kama ni dressing iwa boost at least hata watoke kwa hiyo nini watoke kwa hiyo maisha na after hapo wela we will light it then i know niki shinda hii seat ni kwa pale kwa county assembly hizi kazi zikuwa zina advertisewa nitawachukua niwapeleke nini kwa hizo makazi okay. those are good plants and yeah, uh, then hiyo mm. mimi kuwapeleka kazi itakuwa imeimprove security sana itakuwa sawa kwa sababu hakuna mtu atakuwa idle kwa nini kwa community so kila mtu atakuwa busy hapo ndakuwa nimeimprove nini security yangu then kwa small businesses wa mama hawa wa biashara ndogo ndogo na make sure na watafutia watu wa kuwa pay loans short loans kabisa na si kuwa pay tu kukuja kuwafundisha ukichukua loan kitu nafaa kufanya na hii loan nini ni nini most of the people who wanachukua loan kwenda kufanya nini kufanya nao raha chukua loan jua unafungua biashara hii biashara ukiifungua jua effect yake positive na negative side then na watafutia wale watu wenye wanao pay loan and the small interest yeye anaweza kuwa afford anaweza fanya nini anaweza afford fanya nini kulipa i think apo ita boost sana kabisa then in terms of health care mimi nikiingia pale tusidanganyike sikuizi magonjwa iko no matter what ugonjwa ni lazi, lazima so what i'll do nikiingia pale i'll make sure watu wangu wanapata nini nhif card even kama ni 3 months time walipia i'll do that then hata hapo kwa sababu ndakuwa nime at least nimewaweka wako busy busy wako kwa watoto wao naweza wapea basari au wenyewe ni mwa boost kwa biashara yao au wako stock au hata kuwa wataweza kufanya nini wataweza kulipa hizo loan kulikuwa na lalamishi mingi kutoka kwa wenyeji kwa kuhusu hii mambo ya maji ya kwa saa hii tuseme unafanya nini kwa ward kwa sasa yenye inaimarisha na kuinua watu kwa saa hii maji nimeshughulika sana hata niliongea na CEO wa Nairobi Water anaitwa Mr. Muguna alituma watu kwa field na nimejaribu kuongea na Malandlo to change line kwa sababu unaona hizi lines ziko hapa ni zile lines za zamani zile za chuma za zamani so wa change line na wa change hizo mapipe zao wafanye nini at least maji kikuja inakuja na pressure mingi watu wanaweza kupa then kuna ile free water iko kwa chief huko nimejaribu kuongea na hawa wafungulie hiyo maji hata kama watu wanakosa maji kwa plot wanaezaenda huko wapate nini maji afu okay. kwa wewe ni kiateka ama wewe ni landlord ama una uhusiano gani na wenye nyumba hapa madhareno mimi ni agent mimi ni kiateka na chunga nini plot ya my boss okay. na unaona kama sisi ma agent wengi sana na makiateka wengi tenants wanafanya nini wanatoka wana to, wana kwa plot kwa sababu uwezi kama hali uwezi pata services maji inakuwa shida maybe steam inakuwa shida so wenye maji wanafaidika kuuza maji na sisi hapa tuna lose customer kwa sababu hakuna nini hawawezi kaa kwa hizo mabuti zetu ndio okay. nimeni push kabisa na ngangana at least wapate pia nini services zao kwa hivyo hii lalamishi ya kusema unafungia watu maji unafurusha watu kwa nyumba wasipolipa unaweza sema nini juu yao hapana hapana unajua corona ime Corona imekuja na ime affect watu wengi sana. Pale kwangu nyumba ni bei kali, si hivyo rahisi sana. Na inafika mahali we mwenyewe umefutwa kazi, we mwenyewe unaona uwezani. Mi uambia mtu, ikifika kama kitu 5 months hauwezi kaa nyumba wenyewe pure for real. Hata mimi nataka hiyo pesa. Na peni hii kazi yangu ndo mwenye nyumba aone hata mimi nafanya nini na kazi. Mi uambia mtu kama imekushinda you just go peacefully, tafuta mali. Nafanya nini? Unaweza. Unajua kitu moja na sisi wanadamu, jikune kule mali unaweza kama uwezi watu wengi walikuwa na issue kwa Naivas unaona walihamu wakarudi wapi hapa Madharenu sasa ishi maisha yako usiishi maisha ya watu mimi sijai furusha mtu kwa sababu sijai chukua hata vitu za mtu niwaambia mtu toka aenda na kila kitu yako unampea mimi umpea time na anafanya nini na anaenda kabisa kwa sababu ni biashara ya mtu hii ni biashara this is business this is not about politics hii ni biashara ya mtu hata wewe uwezi yaka kuluti yako unaweza kubali watu wakae bure sincerely speaking can you unaweza kubali kweli Okay. Ah, yes, sir, sir. okay, so eh, kenye ningependa kuuliza kwa njia kwa njia ndogo tu eh, kwa sasa kabla upewe mamlaka umefanya nini kurudisha mkono? Yaani unaweza sema eh, kama nimefanya hii ndogo nikipata hii kiti kubwa naweza fanya zaidi. Juzi juzi hata walikuwa naandikwa NYS 
nimejaribu kutafuta vijana kwa ground below 24 years na wakuwe na certificate of good contract but the turnout ilikuwa kidogo sana because vijana wetu kwanza wengi hawataki hiyo inwa yes then wengi wao hawana hiyo certificate of good contract lakini nilijaribu at least nikapata wa kumi nikawapeleka but nilikuja but niliona vijana wengi hawapendi hiyo hawapendi hiyo inwa yes tena okay sasa tuangalie kisiasa sasa Unaonaje e, e, nafasi yako kama mwanamke mmoja na pia e, ukiangalia wagombeaji wengine unaangalia nafasi yako namna gani at least in politics kwa sababu anajua siasa wanawake sisi si wa kutanga tanga ile tunasemaga malaya wa siasa tukiamua ni mwenendo tunaifua alafu more youths we are very energetic at least tunaweza kimbia kufanya nini kufanya kazi na tunaweza tembea hata kwa ground unaona mtaa kama hapa ni kuingia kwa mi mita to make sure unajua nini hakuna you can provide this you can interview your people ndio sasa zile pale kwa section unaweza peleka problem zao ndio resources zifanye nini zikuje kwa ground kwa sababu kama uwezi tembea na uwezi jituma you not that strong hakuna vile unaweza tembea mita na ujue shida watu wako yeah sasa pekee nikuulize kulikuwa na anaye shikilia kiti kwa sasa yeah. unaweza sema amefanya kazi kiasi gani eh, kwa uzuri Eh, amefanya kazi vizuri ama amefanya kazi vibaya ama kwa nini mnataka mtoe sasa yeye tujataka kumtoa tujataka kumtoa yeye mwenyewe ameshatoka yeye ndo ametupia chance ameenda kuvai for MP ametuatia hapa kwa field si atajafanya kazi mzuri yani amefanya lakini sasa tunataka kufanya zaidi ya yeye sasa tunataka tufanye kabisa to improve a lot of things yenye to make a lot of changes kabisa to our youths and our women lakini yeye tujamfurusha yeye mwenyewe alitaka kuwa ameenda MP so ametuachia kiwanja sisi tutakuwa yeah ume, ume, ume sema sana venye uko na mpango kabambe kwa wana youth eh. lakini sijasikia vizuri venye umesema eh, mpango umesema uko nayo kwa wamama kama wale size, yeah. nimejaribu kutembea kwa vikundi ya wamama kwa pale kwa chief wanapeana women fund okay. eh, na nimekuja kuangalia wengi wa jarest jester hawana account na huko ndo upewa hiyo loan wanataka uwe na account na bank statement na mkuu na project yenye inaendelea na hawa mama wetu wengi hawana hizo project sasa inakuwa ni ngumu wapate nini hizo loans then wale wenye wamepewa hawajarudisha nini hawajarudisha hiyo pesa sasa so ina, so inakuwa vigumu sana hao kupewa nini pesa zingine ha, nini pe, nini uko nayo kwa nini iko kwa wazo, wazo yako ya kufanyia Madari North kama ward ukiachana na kuendeleza vijana ama wamama sana sana kwa mashule tuko na primary moja kwa Madari North tuwezi sema sisi sema ni chajenga maklasi sama nini lakini nita make sure wasichana wetu wenye wako hizo mashule hawakosi sanitary pads kwa sababu wasichana wengi wanakosa wakikosa hizo sanitary pads wafanye nini hawaende shule then da make sure na improve se, nini test book wanapata kabisa. Hospitali yetu na make sure madawa ziko kabisa. Si ati mtu anaenda anatibiwa anaambiwa aenda nunua dawa hii, dawa nje. Nita make sure kila madawa ziko hospitalini. Vitabu ziko shule kabisa. Na watoto wetu wanapata school fees on time hawatoki shule kwa sababu wanafukuzwa kukuzwa fee. Uko kwa harakati yote kwa siasa ya ya constituency ukiachana na ward yako umejiingiza kwa siasa ya 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 constituency ya Luaraka? Ah uh, sahi bado for now no. Eh uh, una candidate yote hapo juu. Ah uh, bado 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 sasa. Kwa hivyo sahi unapiga tu siasa yako hapa Mi, nyumbani. Siasa yangu sahi zinapiga siasa yangu hapa na siasa ya team wa nyonyi na siasa ya baba. Hao okay. ndo watu sahi hizi niko nao in hand kwa sababu naona baba amepita so nataka nifanye na yeye kabisa kazi kabisa kwa sababu hataki watu wenye wako na background mbaya, character mbaya, tunataka watu fresh. Na hata yeye mwenyewe sasa anataka watu fresh. Kwa kaya, kabisa kwa siasa. Naoni imesalia tu. Eh, naoni imebakia mwezi mbili tu tuende kwa ile mchujo ya ya party. Eh, na unajua siasa in, ni ni kitu inachukua rasil mali mingi. Siji umejiandaa kivipi kwa hii kwa hii harakati ya kuenda kwa mchujo ya ODM party? 
ODM party this time round tunaona wametuangalia sana like women na youth kwa sababu nomination life membership ndo waliweka juu kidogo ilikuwa 20000 lakini seat ya MCA kwa women bado tujakuwa sure kwa sababu walikuwa wanasema wanaweza ipunguza to 15000 so tunaingoja tuone itakuwaje then me campaign yangu most of the time nafanya door to door campaign na najaribu kuambia vijana wasikubali hangout as much as tunataka kiongozi tusiangalie sana mifuko yao kiongozi ni nini kwa sababu hapo ndo tunaenda ule mtu akiingia pale anasema ameenda kurudisha pesa za ameenda kurudisha pesa zake ajaenda kutufanyia kazi unajaribu kuhimiza vijana wetu kabisa tuangalie huyu mtu ana sera gani anataka anatutakia future kweli ama anakuja anakupea 1000 na anaenda kabisa semi pesa ni mbaya lakini angalia if you want change kabisa huyu mtu atawaletea change aje angalia sera zake then akienda pale hata mwenyewe ata feel guilty a watu walinichagua bure nisipowafanyia kazi itakuwa makosa kwa kwangu so tusiangalie mifuko and out kubribiwa tusiangalie tuangalieni kama tunataka change kabisa tuangalieni sera za huyu mtu kabisa sawa nitakupatia nafasi hii ni kamera yako hapa uonge na wana magari not tuambie eh, mambo yako yote venye umejiandaa kuwaongoza zenye uko nalo kwao kwa mm, kwa chondo yako ili wapate kupata kukuchagua kama mwakilishi wao watu wa Mother North mimi kama Elsepa Montgomery naomba kabisa munipe hii kura yenu na nitawahakikishia ndawafanyia kazi kabisa nitawafanyia kazi kabisa in terms of education security unemployment women empowerment water nita make sure nina improve maisha wa mtu wote wa Mother North utakuwa unakosa kitu inaitwa basic need basic need ni chakula shelter mtu asikuwa na kushindwa atakulipa nyumba i'll make sure ninashughulikia watu wangu kabisa wapate kazi na hii kazi itakujaje ni mimi ni jikomit nifanye kazi na serikali kuu kutoka kwa governor kwa women rep senator na mp ndo resources zikuwe zinafanya nini zinakuja kwa ground kabisa and i'll make sure nitakuwa na collect na tembea na collect views najua shida yenu ni gani na hiyo shida yenu sitakuwa nakaa chini tu na make sure hiyo county assembly naenda pale hizo section pale naongea napeleka malalamishi zenu ndio hiyo resources zinakuja nini kwa ground naomba umepea kura yenu and i'll make sure this mother north naenda ku transform kabisa msiangalie ni mwanamke lakini naweza fanya kazi mingi kabisa maybe vita naweza si yuko sawa kivita lakini akili hapa nawezana nao kabisa naomba kura zenu kabisa watu wa mother north Okay thank you very much Mheshimiwa for coming yeah. uh, we look for you again so that you can talk more to your people yeah. we wish you all the best in your yes. future endeavors yes. yeah and in everything we do we keep god first right. yeah yeah ndo hata tusaidia we pray watu wa mother north tuombe kabisa i know change will come mungu this time round hata tusaidia kabisa amen, amen. our viewers in uh, uh, ghetto tv thank you very much for being with us this evening uh, this is a rasta's channel on the bench today we had honorable el sepa uh, a female aspirant in uh, mother north ward follow us in all social media handles uh, across uh, ghetto tv kenya ke uh, i'm your host rasta sana see you next time thank you very much